Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Guitar Playalongs. My name is Tony. You know the drill. Pick up your guitar right now and start practicing with me. So today we want to practice and talk about chord tone targeting and this was requested by one of my patrons so Ken, this one is for you. So what is chord tone targeting? It's a technique used by musicians to highlight the notes of a chord during their improvisation and it's used to build a strong connection between the melody you are playing and the underlying harmony. To make this technique work for you, you should have a good understanding of the music theory behind. You should know how chords are constructed and where these chords can be found in the boxes and shapes you are playing. For example, if you are using your trusty A minor pentatonic scale, box one, you should know, for example, where the A minor chord is. And it helps to think in layers. Uh, the first layer would be to know where the roots are. So we have A in the fifth fret of the E string, on the seven of the D string, and the fifth on the high E string again. So this is layer one, knowing where the roots are. The next layer, and this is what is important for us right now, is where in this box of the pentatonic scale is your triad. In our case, the A minor triad. A, C, E, A, C, E, A, C. So this is where we can find the chord tones. In our play along lesson today, I came up with three little examples, uh, phrases, melody lines, call it whatever you want. The first one focuses on ending our phrase on the root of the one chord, which is the A minor chord. The second example will end on the minor third of the chord. And finally, the third example will end its lines on the fifth of the chord. So three different approaches to end your musical idea. As always, there will be the introduction of the lick where I play with you together, then there's the control section. You might know this by now if you are a returning viewer. There you keep on playing, play the lick on your own. There will be a third section after the control section, which is a jam section. And I want you to freely improvise over the jam section, but make sure that you end your licks and your phrases on the note that is given. So when we end on the roots, you should end on the roots. If we end on the minor thirds, you should please end on the minor thirds. This way we can really target the notes and the improvisation is not just a random thing that happens. If you like this kind of videos, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell if you want to get notifications and leave me a comment. But now let's start. Check out my Patreon later on. It's the first link in the description box down below. Enjoy your practice. Have fun. See ya!